Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today I am back with the scraps from the Simple Stories Collection Kit. And this is my story kit that I used last week to create this cute little journal here. And this was a simple little journal that we put together last week. And so I thought I would take the leftover scraps and create something that we can add to our journal. Or it can be happy mail for somebody or just, you know, something separate for another journal. And so I just want to use the scraps up instead of hoarding all these papers up. A lot of times when I have a kit like this, I have leftovers and then I set it aside and I never get back to them. So I want to use up my scraps today. And so we're going to make a simple little project using one of our strips of scraps. And also, if you want to see the video, if you missed the video for this journal, I will put that in my description below. That way, if you've missed that video last week, you will get to see how to make this simple journal. I think it's great for beginners, but it's also, I had so much fun making it, and I'm, you know, I've been making journals for quite a while now, but I still enjoyed making this journal. So hopefully, all levels of journal makers would enjoy that video. So here is the piece of paper that I'm going to be using to create the project today. And this was one we had left over, and it's, it's about, eight and three quarters inch wide by 12. And so this was just a strip we cut off and I don't know what we used the other part of the strip for, but it was something we used it for in the journal. So let me lay this, put, I'm gonna put all these scraps aside for now. We'll use some of these to decorate it. So I wanna start out by trimming it eight inches wide. So it's already 12 inches this way, but I want it to be eight inches wide this way. So it was eight and three quarters. So I've just gotta trim just a little bit off in order to get down to the eight inches. I am saving all the strips. I saved all the strips that I cut off the ends of the paper as well as any of the other small strips and I've got them saved over to the side here and I may use them for another little project. I really don't like to waste my paper from paper packs that I get. I like to use it all up. So we're gonna need our paper trimmer here with, or your scoreboard now. You'll need a scoreboard. And what I wanna do is I wanna put the paper in my scoreboard with the eight inch side to the top. And I'm gonna to try to slide this down so you can see. So I'm gonna put the eight inch side to the top of the scoreboard. And this one, you have to flip this piece over so that you have like a little piece fell out of it so that you have your scoreboard here. And then you just, I wanna score at two inches on each side. So I'm just gonna score two inches here. And then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to score two inches on the other end. And that way it gives us four inches in between and two inches on each end. So now I want to go ahead and fold my paper. Now you can score for this, but for me, I find it easier to fold my paper. So I'm just going to take my paper with this side that I want to be on the front when I get done. So we're making a little booklet. So just think about the, the piece of paper that you want showing when you get done. We will still see this paper, but you'll see in a moment um, how it all works out. So this is the side I want to be on the front when I get done. So I'm just gonna put that towards me with the 12 inch side, you know, lined up in front of me as well. And then we have our score marks. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to fold the front back on itself. So now it should be six inches. When we fold it in half, that would be six inches. So you could score at six inches. So I'm just gonna press that really good. Okay, so next what we wanna do is, I'm just turning it this way to make it easy. We're gonna take that flap that we just folded over and we're gonna bring it back over onto the paper as well. Well, we're gonna take that flap that we just folded over. I'm gonna fold it over in itself and go right up to the edge of the other fold line. So then this would be at three inches. You could be scoring. So you would have, and I'll show you all the score marks if you want to do, score yours. And I think it's just easier to fold over itself because if you get off on your scores a little bit, some of the papers stick out. So now we have our flap that we folded over and then folded it back on itself. So we're gonna flip our paper over and we're gonna take the other flap and we're gonna fold it towards the center again to that center fold. And we are going to just line it up and press. And there we have, we have an accordion fold here. So you have it like this. So if you wanted to, if you scored it three, six, and nine, that should work. But for me, sometimes it doesn't because everything doesn't line up. So I just find it easier 
just to fold by hand instead of using the scoreboard. So here we have our accordion fold. We're gonna open it back up again for a few moments and we're gonna fold up on the score lines that we made earlier. So we made a two inch score line on each side. So we're gonna just fold those down or fold them up, fold them down, whichever. I gotta find it on this end. There we go. I'm just gonna press those down. And so we have all these flaps here. What we're gonna do is I want to cut this first flap here. I'm going to cut on each side of my score line. So when you, when you make a score line, it is just like a ridge on your paper on the other side. So I just wanna cut that ridge off. And just, you see it leaves a little piece like this. We'll come back in and we'll trim it up in just a second. So I'm just gonna trim that there. And then I'm going to trim on each side of the score line on this one. And then again on this one. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're just gonna trim on each side of the score line. And we're just trimming right up to the two inch score line that we made. We're not trimming past that. We're just coming right up to the score line that we made. just want to fold all these over and what we can do is for me it's easier if I just fold it over leave that little piece sticking out and just trim it off there we go well, some of them's just falling off so I'm not having any trouble getting this off it's like this one if I take and I fold it up and then I just trim along the edge everything lines up nicely so that if you have any like that that don't just fall off then you want to just trim There we go. Just gotta work with it for just a second to get all these off. I'm just trimming it to line up so it doesn't stick out. Sometimes you have just a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna leave these two flaps on here. But these, these two flaps, let me make sure I got the right side up. Uh, this one, thank goodness, doesn't have um, a direction. But right here, we're gonna cut these two flaps off at the top in the center. So we just wanna trim those off. And just trim along that score line, or trim, you know, off, just trim right below the score line if you want to, to get that crease off. Just a little bit there. And you can hold on to these. These could make little journaling cards for this project. So now we're gonna come back and we're gonna take and we're just going to fold. We have the two, so we have these two flaps here and these two flaps. On each end we have two flaps. And then right here, we, these are gonna be our pockets. So what I wanna do is I just want to take the two pockets fold them back on themselves, and so they're just lining them up so that they will, they'll be the same. And then I'm just gonna come through and I'm just going to cut a slant in them. And so there you have two pockets in the center. Now for these flaps, I just want to round the corners and I'm gonna use the smaller one. And I don't know, I can't remember what size that is again, but we're just gonna use the small one here. We're just gonna round the corners. So all the flaps that's still left. Okay, so there. 
You could hold on to these. You might could use those for little pockets. Who knows what you could use them for. So when this folds up, we'll have our pockets there and we'll have our flaps in here. And hopefully this is making sense and it, we're gonna keep working on it and you hopefully it will as we go along. So now mine feels a little tight when I fold it up. So what I need to do is just trim a little off of each of these edges and then I'm gonna have to go back and round that corner again because it's gonna cut a little bit off. You may have to, if yours feels like it's bulky, just trim a little bit off of these edges here. Sometimes you have to take some of that bulk out and just trim a very little off each time because you want it to stay, you want your flap to be within side of the score line. So if you fold it up and it feels a little bulky, then that's okay, just trim a little off. I probably should have tried it before I rounded the corners, but um, it's okay to trim it afterwards and then we can just come back and re-round the corners. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's such a little bit, a little corner anyway, it's not gonna make a big difference. So let me round the corners now. I kinda wanna round the corners anyway to see if that helps too. That's one of the reasons I probably would have said before, let's round the corners to see anyway. It's just having to nick just a little bit off, but it's gonna be fine. It doesn't really change it that much. It didn't take enough off to really make a difference, I don't think. Okay, so now let's just fold it back up and see if everything is lining up okay and doesn't feel too bulky. So you're gonna fold it up accordion style like this. So that's feeling a lot better. So now let's just start working on our pockets. So first I wanna use my, um, I've just got an old, just a, not old, but a cheap little mat from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to put some eyelets on my flaps. So let's just lay our flaps down here. And we're gonna punch a hole and kind of center it up. We wanna center it up, so let me put this here. It's, um, I can use this mat because you can see one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So I know if I go right in the center of this one, then I'll be pretty good. If I punch my hole right in the center there. And then we have that one. And so now we'll just add our eyelet. And we'll flip it over and I love these. This is a different size. I've used this in my videos before. And this is a different size Fiskars um, eyelet setter. And I put that one a little too hard for that, but that's okay. And then we're gonna do this one, same way. And we'll just sit it right in the center here. Put the other eyelet in. Oops. I'm gonna go a little lighter this time because last time I went a little harder and these are thinner than the ones I'm used to using. So that way we don't, um, it takes the paint off some, but it's it's not busting it out as long as I go slow. I did kind of bust that one out just a little, but that'll be okay. Now you could mark your, where you want the hole on each one. I'm just sort of eyeballing it using this mat, but if you need it to be exact, if it was gonna bother you, then, you know, just mark your holes for each one. It's not that, um, I don't think it's gonna make that big a difference with mine because it's so small, it doesn't bother me. But you do what you like. The paint does come off of these pretty bad when you do that, but you still have the paint on the other side. It's just the back side the paint comes off on. Okay, so for these two pockets, very simple. We're just gonna glue on one side, and it's just kind of like a tuck spot. So we're just gonna put glue down the edge of the pocket and just glue the one side. Press that down, I'll make sure I don't have any glue oozing out. And then we're just another little line of glue on this side. This is a very simple little project, but it'd be great as Happy Mail to send little things in. You could send stickers in it or ephemera and different things, but also I thought this would be cute to add to the journal because this would be a great hidden journaling spot, and then you have another hidden journaling spot on this side. Since I used the green on the front of the journal, that's what I'm going to use inside as well, so it all kind of goes together. So we're just 
run it through here. And back through the other hole. And then we're just going to tie it shut. I love little quick projects like this. Now, I guess you could tuck some a little note in there or, or whatever, but if you're using it for your journal, I think it'd be a great little hidden journaling spot. It'd also be a great little place to put a picture and then journal above it and below it. So there we go with that. Just trim it up there. And the bow doesn't have to be as big. I think since it's, it's a little smaller, we'll make a smaller bow. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, and this comes together so quickly. You can make a mass make these in an afternoon. You can make a bunch up using some of your leftover scraps from you know, kits that you've had, and you've made journals, or you've made mini albums, or you've made cards, and you just have leftover um, eight by 12 strips. You could just make these, make a ton of these up, and then add them to different projects. I think these would be cute added to um, mini albums as well. If you don't make journals, you could actually add these to mini albums and you could use, like I said, as Happy Mail as well. And this would be a cute little mini album itself so that, get that glue off there. When you mail it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my glue eraser to get that little piece of glue off there. I got on there. So when you mail this, if you used it as Happy Mail, when you mailed it, you could, um, you know, add some ephemera in here or you could even add gift cards in here, and then the note would be inside of here if you wanted to do that. So you could do these in all different types of prints that way. So here we go, and that does make it a little bulky now when you have your flap and the eyelets in there, but that's okay. So I don't think it's gonna stay closed completely for me right now, but we're gonna stick it in a pocket, or you can actually paper clip it into your journal as well. So let's go ahead and decorate the front. So I'm just gonna use some leftover pieces, the stickers and some of the leftover paper from um, this kit to make decorate the front. And I think I'm just going to cut this down just to fit inside of the cover here. And we know that this cover is about three inches wide, so I'm going to cut it down to, I guess, two and three quarters first to see. Just going to, oops, I did forget to flip this over. That's one thing with this one. you got to remember to flip that back over so you can trim. I'm going to try two and three quarters and see. If I like that, or if I want to go a little smaller, I think I want to go just a little smaller, maybe two and a half. Yes, I like that. So let's decorate this up before we glue it on. So I'm going to take this now, and I think what I'll do is see what this looks like along the edge, see if that decorates it up some. I think I like that along the edge there. So I'll need to cut off just a little here. Cut, cut off a little strip to fit on here. And then we can trim it down to the correct length in just a second. There we go. And now I'm just gonna trim that off. So I'm looking at this here, the me. I'm gonna to try to fussy cut that me out and see if I can get it to fit on the front here. Okay, so let's see if that will fit. It's gonna be a little big. But I like that on there, the me, and then we just have it, can hang off onto the page as well. Since this is your story. And then, what do we wanna add? Um, how about me dreaming big? Kinda like that. Since we put these words throughout this journal anyway, I wonder if I took this off. Just changing my mind about it. So let's see. I kind of like that better without it. So we'll do me dreaming big. And I wish I had another small flower, but I've used all the flowers up. 
So I'm just going to glue that on. that keeps the front very simple but it's still cute since the story is about you and then we can come back through here with some of the stickers and I'm thinking just add some of the little stickers in I wonder if this word would look good in here let's see how that looks I like that and we need anything else. I think everything else is not going to fit. It's going to be too big for this. So here we have our little booklet. And so you have your hidden um, journaling spots or places to put pictures. You have pockets here to put things. And then you can flip it over and journal on the inside here or add photos. And so I think this will be a good little addition to our journal. And so I have all of these left over from the um, kit. And I thought about what I could do is just trim some of them apart and just add those into the pockets. And so that, that way, whoever uses this journal would be able to take these pieces and add to their journal. They could, you know, decorate their journal with them, fussy cut the image out, or um, whatever they wanted to do with them. And they could pop them up in the journal. But I thought it'd be cool to take and put some of these into this folder. And so we've got quite a few here we can add. I won't sit here and cut them all out in front of you. I'll wait and do that later. And then I'm going to go through. There's also bits and pieces from the um, kit, like some of these smaller pieces you could add in here so that they had bits and pieces to use in the journal. But there's quite a few left, so I may just go through and cut those down to fit the pockets. And to add it to our journal, you could, I have a paper clip here with a ribbon on it, but you could, well, you could just add it to the pocket in the front and it'd just be an addition. And it is kind of thick, but you could find a page, like it could be added to one of these pockets that we made. And like I said, if you haven't seen the video for this one, you can check it out in the description below. I'll have a link to it, but you could add it there. Or you could take, and let me find a page I want to attach it to. So you could come through and you could just attach it using a paper clip. So you could attach it on the side here, or one way to do it is to attach it at the top here, but just attach the back side, and that way it can still flip out while being, and you don't have to take it out of the book. You can do it that way, or if you think it's too bulky and you want to flatten it down some, you can always just add the paper clip like that and add it to your journal. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this quick little video on how to create this little mini book. I think you can make quite a few of these and they are a lot of fun. And I do have a couple of more pieces of paper left over, so I may have to make more of these for the journal or just as happy mail since this journal is getting pretty full. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.